Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Welcome to episode 3 of season 2 of our Manchester United career mode here on FIFA 19. In today's episode, we start our Premier League season at home to Southampton, and then we end the episode with a Manchester derby in the UEFA Super Cup. Champions League winners versus the Europa League winners. Man City Champions League winners, we are the Europa League winners. I wish it was the other way around, but hopefully to end this Man United career mode at the end of this season, we will be lifting that Champions League trophy. But let's stop talking. Let's start today's episode at home to Southampton and start our Premier League campaign in perfect fashion with three points. Milinkovic, Savage into Andreas Pereira, Pogba forward to Mbappe. It doesn't quite work out, but we are still in possession. Overlap on the right-hand side from Darlow. Through to Pogba. Can we find a Manchester United man? It's a dangerous delivery, but it's a very good defensive header from the Southampton fullback. Martial with the throw in into Andreas Pereira. Luke Shaw against his former club, of course. Milinkovic Savic into Pogba. Oh, it's a beautiful scoop turn from the Frenchman, and he lashes it into the top corner. Eight minutes gone. Rightly so. We have taken the lead. It's been such a dominating start from us. Manchester United won. Southampton nil. Rashford on the ball backwards to Milinkovic Savic into Martial but Ward Prowse with a brilliant piece of defending but we do keep a possession. Pogba right hand side is Rashford now Milinkovic Savic just about keeping possession. Rashford he done very well. Dala with the cross into Mbappe and it's luckily going to fall to Rashford into Milinkovic Savic now Pogba into Andreas Pereira onto his left foot but Hoiberg with a good piece of play to break up the attack. But once again, we're going to win it back straight away. Mbappe over the top here to Martial. It's very well done from the two strikers. Martial on his left foot. Keeper stood still, but unfortunately, it's gone the wrong side of the post. How close was it? It was a decent attempt. Just a little bit lower. That would have dropped in for 2-0 after, what, 12 minutes? Okay. Not even near 12 minutes. 19 minutes, but it's been a brilliant start to the Premier League season from us even though it's only 19 minutes gone target on the ball it's a brilliant first touch Sanabria into El Yanusi on this left hand side back into Sanabria for the first shot of the game for Southampton and thankfully the shot had no power on it and it was straight at the goalkeeper for a simple save and can we break away I'm going to try and spread the play to Martial is it over here I think we might be able to keep this in with Martial oh it's absolutely beautiful Wow, I can't get over that skill, the touch, and then first time cross on the volley. Absolutely brilliant from Martial, but unfortunately, only a Southampton man was on the end of the cross. 26 minutes gone, and we have been absolutely brilliant so far. Lamina into Hoiberg. This is a brilliant spell for the away side. We don't make a tackle. Hoiberg into Lamina. Hoiberg once again. Left hand side is El Yanusi into Hoiberg. This is brilliant play and thankfully the young Dutch defender was in the way. That was brilliant play from Southampton. The last five minutes or so they've been knocking the ball around so so well. They've actually dominated for the last five ten minutes or so but here we go. Rashford on this right hand side. Can we turn onto his left foot and find a Manchester United man? We can't. It's a good defensive header and we get our first corner of the game. Can we double our lead with ten minutes left to play of the first 45? No we can't. Once again, it's a good defensive header, only as far as Luke Shaw into Martial, across into Rashford. What a delivery, and it's a brilliant header past the goalkeeper. 39, 38 minutes gone, I'm not quite sure, but we've doubled our lead. 39 minutes gone, Manchester United 2, Southampton 2. It's a brilliant header, but let's talk about that cross. Look at that from Martial, pinpoint. Absolutely brilliant cross. El Yanusi, first time into Hoiberg. Now Lamina. It's decent play from a Southampton once again. Hoiberg forward to Zanabria. Backwards to Hoiberg. Zanabria once again. Forward to Lamina. Southampton, like I said, the last 10 to 15 minutes or so in game time, of course. They have been playing some brilliant football into Carrillo. Great save from the Spaniard. 
his first real save of the game and it's a brilliant one to keep the score at 2-0 with minutes left to play of the first 45 minutes. Second corner for Southampton incoming. Seconds before the break. It's not the best, but it's actually a decent header towards goal. I thought whoever that was for me, I thought was going to get on the end of that cross and clear it, but he didn't. And I think it might have been El Yanusi with the header. Not quite sure, but in the end, thankfully, it was a simple save for the goalkeeper. And it looks as though we are going to be taking a 2-0 lead into the break. Luke Shaw into Mbappe. Can we find Pogba? Right-hand side is Rashford onto his right foot. It's beautifully done. And it's just wide or just over, unfortunately. What a strike from Rashford. But we are taking a 2-0 lead into the break against Southampton in the first Premier League game of the season. So Nabria out to this right-hand side in Ward-Prowse. Hoiberg, Ward-Prowse once again has got three players charging into the box. Ward Prowse backwards to Hoiberg, across in, and Delict gets the ball away. And I think Mbappe is going to keep possession. Oh, it's beautifully done. It's beautifully done. Right hand side, I see Marcus Rashford. What a pass! And we are somehow going to keep possession or win possession back off target. Marcus Rashford onto his left foot, across into Mbappe. Oh, it's a beautiful goal. 51 minutes gone. We have trebled our lead, and surely that has to be three points wrapped up. It was brilliant play from Mbappe. Brilliant play from Mbappe. I have to see a replay, the whole replay of the move. It was just brilliant. So Mbappe picks up the ball. Brilliant flick over his head. And what a pass into Rashford. A little bit more power. Rashford would have cleanly got on the ball. But he was strong. He kept possession. And it's a brilliant cross into Mbappe. And Mbappe with his first Premier League goal of his career. Ward Prowse on this right hand side has got four players charging into the box. Plays it short into Hoiberg, a cross in, and Delict once again gets the cross away. But it's going to fall here to El Yanusi. Lamina back into El Yanusi. Good save from David De Gea. And I didn't think he was going to actually hold on to that, but thankfully he did. And the score is still 3 0. Mbappe on the ball, left hand side. I see Martial once again from Mbappe. It's a brilliant pass. Martial with the curler to the far corner. And a simple save in the end for the goalkeeper. 58 minutes gone. And the ball hasn't gone out. But we are going to make a couple of changes. We're going to bring Pereira off for Fred. And I think we're going to bring Jesse Lingard on for Martial. Target on the ball. And he's lost possession to Rashford. He just runs straight into him. Short into Pogba. To his left-hand side is Andreas Pereira. Good strike. It was a very good strike. And he is coming off the field. That's his last action of the game as you guys just saw made a double sub Fred and Jesse Lingard coming on it's not a bad double sub is it it's a pretty good one so hopefully Jesse Lingard can find some form Pogba with the corner and it's a very good one as well Delict comes out of nowhere with a brilliant header and unfortunately it gets cleared off the line Milinkovic Savage back into the box and it does get cleared Hoiberg on the ball for Southampton decent pass into Morales on this right hand side now Rosier Plays a decent ball forward to Shane Long, I think this is. Yep. Is he going to whip in across? He does. It's a decent one as well. And David De Gea does punch here. And it falls straight to Marcus Rashford. Now into Mbappe. Left-hand side is Jesse Lingard. And once again from Mbappe. It's a brilliant pass. Back post. I see Marcus Rashford. Just a little bit over hit. But we're going to put it back into the box to Mbappe. Oh, man. If that went in, that would have been a brilliant goal. But 15 minutes gone. The score is still 3-0. And unfortunately, Mbappe couldn't bury the scissor kick. Shane Long on the ball. Overlap from Morales. Back through to Shane Long, maybe. It's decent play from the two players. And somehow Long has kept possession. Morales on this right-hand side. Puts in a decent delivery once again. David De Gea once again punches into Hoiberg with loads of space. Short into Lamina. Little one-two between the two players. Lamina on his left foot. And who's it going to fall to? Long into Morales. Good save from David De Gea. Keeping the score at 3-0 and keeping us well in the lead. A good spell from the away side, but hopefully we are going to be clearing our lines from this corner. It's a decent delivery and Rashford does well to get the ball away. Target on this left-hand side for Southampton. He's running backwards. He's running backwards. What the hell is he doing? What's he doing? It's a decent turn and somehow he's still on the ball. What on earth was that about? Buffal puts in a very good delivery. Sanabria with the header. 
And thankfully, once again, it's a simple save for the goalkeeper. And that is going to wrap up the first Premier League game of the season. We start the Premier League campaign with three points. A very comfortable 3-0 win. And Mbappe with his first Premier League goal of his career. Hopefully, he is going to be banging in goals left, right and centre. So far, so good with Mbappe. He's got two goals in two games. He scored in the Community Shield and now in the Premier League. But the most important thing is we've got three points in our first Premier League game of the season. Up next, we've got the UEFA Super Cup against Manchester City. David Silva on this right hand side, short into Aguero, he's kicked it up, hasn't quite worked out for him but he's still in possession, decent turn onto his left foot, now Gundogan who's running backwards for some reason, into Silva, decent pass now into Kevin De Bruyne, short into Aguero and thankfully Pogba gets in the way and that's a decent pass forward into Lozano, now Mbappe through to Lozano, it's worked out absolutely brilliant, two players or three players to his left hand side, a cross goes into Mbappe! And he can't quite get there ahead of Edison. First real attack of the game and it almost results in us taking the lead. But it's a brilliant piece of goalkeeping from the Man City number one. Sterling on the ball puts in a delicious cross and it does get dealt with. And the clearance is going to fall straight to Mbappe. Right hand side I see Lozano once again. Mbappe just like the game against Southampton with a brilliant pass. Loads of space here for Fred with the long range strike. Low and hard. And it's gone just the wrong side of the post. 20 minutes gone. Oh, it's a perfect angle as well. But 20 minutes gone. That is the closest anyone has come to scoring. Pogba with the interception. Now Mbappe. Oh, it's a lovely pass into Lozano. I'm going to smash it on the half volley. And yeah, hasn't quite worked out. But 21 minutes gone. Man City have dominated possession. And so far in the opening 21 minutes, all I've been doing is hitting them on the break. And so far, it's actually working because we're defending solidly. And we are actually countering very, very well. Aguero on this right-hand side. Puts in a cross. Kevin De Bruyne into Leroy Sane. What a move. And thankfully, it's hit the side netting. I thought that sneaked in past the goalkeeper. It was going on target then it just swerved away and gone just wide wow that was a brilliant move from Man City their best move and the closest they've come to scoring and their first real real chance away at goal here we go Pogba into Lozano three players to his left hand side we're going to try and find Jesse Lingard at the back post but Silva doing his defensive duties very well Thomas Partey into Pogba onto his left foot a long range strike and it's a good block from Gerard Piquet, but we are going to keep this attack alive into Pogba. First time into Fred. Loads of space here for Fred. And Gerard Piquet once again getting in the way with a brilliant block. 29 minutes gone. We get a corner. Can we open the scoring? It's a very good delivery, but Kevin De Bruyne gets it away only as far as Thomas Partey. Now Lozano short into Pogba. Okay, it's gone into Fred. Can we find Jesse Lingard? We can't, but we are going to keep possession into Fred. Now Pogba. Okay, it's gone into Lozano. Overlap, overlap from Fossu Mensa. Oh, it's beautifully done. A cross in. It's a very good one as well. But once again, very good defending from Man City. 33 minutes gone. Can we finally open the scoring? Thomas Partey into Pogba. Right-hand side is Lozano. Oh, beautiful scoop turn. Surely for 1-0. Oh, Edison with a brilliant save. That should have been us taking the lead. But what a save from the City goalkeeper. Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, strength from Paul Pogba. But Sani nicks it away from me. Kevin De Bruyne. Backwards to Gundogan. Silva, Gundogan. Kevin De Bruyne, Gundogan forward to Aguero with loads of space to turn into. Now Leroy Sane overlap on the left-hand side, but he finds Aguero. Decent pass into Sterling. And thankfully it's gone over the crossbar. Henderson, our goalkeeper for this game, stood absolutely still. If it was on target, that would have been 1-0 with the last kick of the first 45 minutes. But thankfully, we're going into the break at 0-0. 
Mbappe on the ball. It's not the best of passes out to Fosu Mensa, but somehow he has kept possession. Twanzebe into Fred. Now Thomas Party into Pogba. First time into Mbappe. A couple of step overs onto his right foot. Beautifully done. Oh, what a finish. What a goal from Mbappe. 58 minutes gone. Mbappe with an absolute beauty. Totally done Gerard Piquet. And what a strike. And it always looks better when it hits the underside of the crossbar. Mbappe now three goals in three games in competitive football for Manchester United. Raheem Sterling backwards to Silva. Back through to Sterling. He's got no support at the moment. Now into Sergio Roberto. Back through to Raheem Sterling. Is he going to keep it in? Yes, he is. A first-time cross and it's a decent one as well. But Twanzebe once again with brilliant defending. He has had a solid, solid game. Ten minutes left to go, and Man City get a corner. Kevin De Bruyne whips it in. Gabriel Jesus with the header, and what a save from the young goalkeeper, Henderson. His first real involvement in this game, Henderson, and it's a brilliant save. And Herrera in the middle to Fred. Left-hand side, I see Jesse Lingard. Oh, it's a beautiful scoop turn. Jesse Lingard! What a goal! Seconds left to play in this game. It is game over. Jesse Lingard with an absolute beauty of a goal. That scoot turn just totally done. Benjamin Mendy, I think. No, Sergio Roberto, sorry. Totally done him. And what a finish past the goalkeeper. Manchester City 2. Manchester United. I've done it again. I've done the same against Spurs. I said Spurs 2, Manchester United 2 when it was in fact 2-0. Man City nil, <laughs> Manchester United 2. We've won the UEFA Super Cup against our Manchester rivals with a very good performance. Twanzebe and Fosu Mensa in defence had brilliant games and I'm really confident going into this season, especially with Mbappe up top. He has been immense for us so far this season. But the story here is we are lifting our second piece of silverware of the season. So we're going to do our first training session of the season. We've got Chong, Hamilton, Gribbin, Henderson and Williams. There's only a few other players that are worth training. So every couple of months, I'm going to switch up the training sessions. But what an episode it was today. Our first Premier League game of the season ended in a 3-0 win. Kicking off the Premier League campaign with three points. And then winning the UEFA Super Cup against our Manchester rivals in the next episode is a big one as you can see we have Liverpool and Arsenal in the Premier League two massive games in the next episode and you know what like I said at the end of the last episode we have added Cristiano Ronaldo and I'm going to approach Dubai I am just going to approach Dubai Cristiano Ronaldo I want to bring him back for one final season at Manchester United his current value is 58.5 million pound I'm not going to do any player swap because I don't think we have anyone that I really want to get rid of and who is valued actually Sanchez Sanchez let's go back Sanchez I thought I don't look on him talk I forgot about Sanchez wingers or strikers he's a winger he's worth 28.5 million if they are interested they're gonna want cash as well yes they're interested in Sanchez, but they want a transfer sum of 90.3. Well, we're going to counter that because they're probably going to not accept much less than 90, to be honest. But I'm going to put 55 plus Alexis Sanchez. They're probably not going to accept that, to be honest. No, nope, 90.3 still. Okay. Proposed new transfer. We're going to go for 70. 90.3 still. Really? Okay, do you know what? One final offer. 75. And if they don't accept 75, I will just give them 90.3 plus Sanchez. Do you know what? I don't care. This is the final season with Manchester United. We've come to an agreement with Juventus 
for Cristiano Ronaldo. All we have to do is negotiate a contract to bring Cristiano Ronaldo back. What's his weekly wage? It was like 300,000, wasn't it? 320k, I think it was a week. Absolutely ridiculous money, but I think he will come back to Manchester United squad role. Of course, a crucial first team player. He's, of course, happy with that. A contract length of two years. We're only doing one more season with Man United, so it really doesn't matter. Release clause, he's probably going to want... No. And he's taken a pay cut. He's taken a massive pay cut. He wants a wage of £240,000 a week, a signing bonus of 1.7, and if he scores 25 goals in two years, £13.8 million. Holy smokes, that is a lot of money. Except Cristiano Ronaldo has officially rejoined Manchester United. What a way to end today's episode. So like I said, the next episode will be two Premier League games against Liverpool and Arsenal. That is going to officially wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.